What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Show You How. And guys, today, I'll be showing you how to guess right on any multiple choice test. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and look over at the multiple choice answers. So as we can see now, we see that B is 55, but it's an outsider because it's not a fraction. And you see all the other ones are a fraction. So that means we can go ahead and mark B out. And now since we have that marked out, what we can do is we can put A, C, and D over to the side right here. I'll just put it just like this, A, C, and D. Okay, so now we take a look at A. A is a fraction, so we can put a mark for that, a tally mark. And if we look at the numerator in A, it's one. And what does what else has a numerator of one? It's D, so we can another, put another tally mark for that. And we look at the 55, we see 55 for B, but that's already marked out. So we still can put a tally mark for that too. And now we go ahead and go over to C. It has three in the numerator, but nothing else on the multiple choice answers has three. So we can just leave that alone. And we look at 11, D has 11 in it. So we can put one for that. And also we can put a, um, a one for the fraction too, because C is a fraction. And also for D now, D has a numerator of one, and what else has a numerator of one? A has one, and it's also a fraction. D is a fraction, so we can put one and another one because it matches up with a numerator of one with A. All right, so now we look at D again, and it has 11 in the denominator, and C ha also has a denominator of 11. So that's another three. And off the bat, now we can knock out C because it only has two tally marks, so knock that out. All right, so now we're left with a and D. All right, so this is the part where it gets tricky. So when you take a test, the um the test the people who made the test they want you to think something else, but it's pretty obvious when you mark when you mark the first answer out that means that the answer is the first answer you marked out because they're gonna think they want you to think that it's not that it's not gonna have the same answer in it, but it really is. So what I would do is I would mark out D. And I'll pick A because that's the first one we marked out. So it's pretty much obvious because that's the first one we knocked out. And it didn't have a fraction. Well, 55 didn't have a fraction. But it did have a fraction with 1. But this didn't, the B. So automatically, I would pick this for the answer. So that's basically how you get the right answer to any multiple choice test. And if you want another, um, a part two of this, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe. And turn on that post notification bell to get notified for every upload on my channel. And we'll be back to show you how.